Yo, what's up everyone? I hope you are having a magnificent day today. I want to welcome you to what is hopefully a little educational video tonight involving Thai street food. Two very special foods, very simple, very tasty foods you can have at any time of the day. We are in Surat Thani and so specifically, these two foods also show the influence that China has on the food of Thailand. Specifically in the south of Thailand, you'll see a lot of Chinese written even on the signs. You'll see people who look to be from Chinese descent, Thai, Chinese and also Malay make this area one of the most fun and vibrant areas because of that diversity. In Thai we say jok and then kwetiao, some noodles. These are the two dishes you could kind of even say are like fast food in Thailand but both come from China, both are super tasty around the clock. So we are going to take you to have some porridge right behind us and then we're going to go quickly over there and have a round two of noodles. I'm hungry, let's go. The name of the shop is Anamai, which means like clean, like uh, sanitized. So you have Zhou, and in Chinese, remember it's Zhou, uh, which also is the same pronunciation of my name. <laughs> nice coincidence. They are just opening. You can see from all the bowls that they expect to have a lot of business, and we just can't wait. It's a late night spot, but we're here when they've just opened. So I'm hungry. Let's go inside. <laughs> โจ๊กใส่ไข่จานเนี่ยครับแล้วก็ไข่ถ้วยนึงอ๋ออ๋อเอาโจ๊กกับไข่ถ้วยนึงแล้วอีกถ้วยนึงเอาหมูเอาเ
and then I like actually having like a half half in the same bowl. So I make this side very spicy and then keep this side clean. It is just one of the best dishes of all of Asia and that is thanks to the Chinese. Even in India, you know, people even eat, uh, kong, what's it called in India? Congee. Uh, people even eat congee in India. It is just something that's kept humans running for, <laughs> for millennium, actually. So even though this is one of the most simple dishes, it is literally just boiled rice with a ton of different toppings. It is so close to the heart of Asian cuisine, and not just Asian cuisine, I mean, every Asian family half of the time is relying on dishes like this, and so that's why I love it so much. There is so, there is so much to be appreciated in a dish like this. One more thing you gotta appreciate, it is served at near nuclear temperatures. So for me, I gotta blow on it for quite a while. We just go straight in, of course. <laughs> You can see the rice is almost losing the grains. It's almost been cooked long enough that it breaks apart into, it's not a soup, you know? Could be called rice soup, but I like porridge more. It has so much thickness. So I think of it like porridge. Mm. Okay. It's just at the maximum temperature that I can handle and still be smiling. So porky. So hearty, so happy. The freshness from the cilantro is great, but the ginger is what really sets it off. Mm. And how many millions of bowls of porridge do you think? Even in a country the size of Thailand, millions. Think about China. There's probably, you think, 100 million bowls of rice porridge eaten every day? Maybe more, right? You think? I've got more. One of the world's great foods, really. Let's find that egg yolk. I like how they just break the egg in there first and then pour the porridge over it. So it is, it was a raw egg and the porridge is so hot. And it does add so much richness into the joke to stir that egg yolk around. There we go. I love that ginger. And you can order extra egg, you can say. Many different ways you could say. It's awesome. It's so awesome. Yeah, that's the way. Now, smooth. Now, stir in some chilies. Get the full flavor going. Remember, I put in some vinegar as well. Mm. So the jolt on its own, you cannot say it's vegetarian, right? Even in the even in the main pot, there is pork, right? Yeah. The so, vivo is inside. Mm. So even my dish, which I got no meat, yes, I added eggs, but even the the rice, you can't guarantee that it's vegan. So make sure to ask if you are looking for a vegan snack of joke. It's just too good, man. I'm happy with my clean bowl, but I'm watching this and getting a little bit jealous of those <laughs> of those pork meatballs. The most tasty from here is the liver and rib. Point. And the one point is not hot enough for me. <laughs> Dude, the light in here is great, by the way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Leave it. Mm. How about babanko? And can I share it with you? Because in Thailand, in <laughs> Lao, actually, it's called kanonku. But kanonku is not so, not so, not so, not separate. <laughs> And so, oh, very cute. Wait, you said you have that with soy milk? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. It's our breakfast combo. Oh, breakfast. Mm -hmm. Okay, I forgot. So, Lee tells me. So I just like, I 
cannot say China. I say yeah. Guangxi. Oh. Where I come from, we like the porridge. Yeah. The Dongjiang Yao Tiao, the Batonggo, and the Nandong Wu. Mm-hmm. In Guangxi, we eat usually as a breakfast. I cannot say China because different province they are different. Yeah. So maybe Guangdong yeah. eat for dinner. Mm. Cool. Because of Thailand, around here, a lot of the culture is influenced by yeah. uh, Daiju. Oh, that's right. That's around like between Fujian and Guangdong. Oh, okay. Yeah, not. I shouldn't say all of China. It is a few specific Chinese cultures that have influenced Thailand, specifically Daiju the most. Yeah. Hmm. The last are, all the, are all the meatballs gone? All the meat be decided. Right? <laughs> this you. is the last one. Thank you. All the meat is. <laughs> yeah, those those meatballs looked amazing. I like this little corner right here. It's very cool. <laughs> mm. And see, five minutes later, perfect temperature for me. Mm. Even one second later for me, that's not high enough. So as we have sat here, actually only one other couple has sat down to have joke here, but the grab orders are just flying. It is constantly in and out and her phone is going ding, ding, ding with all the grab orders. So we are going to go pay and uh, the, the price is 85 baht for the bahongo and these two bowls. This one full options, this one basic. And you know, I do have Thai friends who name this as their favorite dish. The way that my grandma makes jo, that is my favorite dish. I cannot wait to go to grandma's house because I love the way she makes jo. And so that just shows you how close to the heart of Thai cuisine this is. So I'm, I love this dish and it seems very simple, but I'm very happy to share it with you. We are now headed to part two. So jo is at the heart of Thai food, Thai street food for sure. We are gonna head down the street and hit the other half for sure. Thai fast food, Thai street food. We're going for some noodles. So, see you there. Would you like a ride? <laughs> see you inside. I heard you. Nam to. Nam to. Yeah, let's go. Perfect. <laughs> so when you walk up to a noodle cart like that, they're going to ask either what noodle or what soup broth, and whichever one is not first, the other one is coming after. And then they will ask possibly the size, then they will ask in inside or to take away. So Lee ordered sen lek, small noodle, nam to, which is the broth. Nang, nang ni, sit here. Nang ni, ka. Very easy, I love it. Look at these windows. And it's that fast. I love how much this they give me. Kolapa, <laughs> my favorite combo is my new. Whatever videos you have seen us make together, I will tell you. In my opinion, she is the Nam Tok Sen Lek Nga Nam Tok Sen Lek Queen. Yeah. When Joey, uh, uh, beef. When I find the noodle show I love, yeah. I can have it every day. Yeah. When, <laughs> every we, day. when we were first dating in Maha Salakam, we went almost every Lunch. day for what was the name of the shop? Oh, uh, so Sen. Yeah. I miss that place so much. <laughs> yeah. We went so often that I really was annoyed, actually. <laughs> like, come on. You're never ever bored of noodles? She's like, no, not even close. 
Just like you never go oh. off cycling. Oh, I thought you were going to say oatmeal. No, 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 no. Yeah. Oh, they have some dark looking pig pow over there as well. Look at that. And I know she always puts this and she always puts vinegar, which is in here. Usually I will put them all inside at once. But this bowl, the size, is limiting my ability. And here will be like similar to the sauce, so sand I like. So soft, really. Yes. I have eaten noodle like this for seven years. This is my way to eat. Oh man, she just creates a bean sprout and basil. Hey, you told me today the reason that you love sweet Thai basil. Is <laughs> yes, because, because I eat a lot of yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't like the the basil before, but every yeah. time I eat so much basil in my noodle, yeah, yeah. eat them so much that I like it. My favorite basil is Kolata. So Thailand has three basils, by the way. Kolata uh, is my favorite. Yeah. You know, they really didn't give me a big enough bowl. <laughs> oh my God. She's actually trying to put all the veg in there at one time. And then I will go to ask more Balls. water. Yep. So she fills the bowl with all the vegetables. She loves the bean sprouts when they are covered with more soup broth. She also loves when the soup broth is maximum temperature. So usually, the senlek, they soak up all that soup broth. So the white noodles, they are little beautiful sponges for all that pork blood broth flavor. Don't worry, it's cooked very well. So that namto is the pork blood broth. She loves it. It is spiced so beautifully. Ah, you see, he even has, you see this right here? He even has the pork blood next to it. So hey. this is nam sai, you put this all in nam to. Mm. Oh. 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 Nam sai is the things on the pot, nam to is put that blood in. Another final step. <laughs> Another step. Oh, that's true, yeah. They're so full. So you look on the table and you find the chilies. Some tables will have two kinds of chilies. This one is the pig pao, which she's putting on right now. Then she's reaching for the vinegar. So it's gonna be in here. This is sugar, these are peanuts, and this is vinegar. I like the number of seven. Four, five, six, Seven because God used seven days to create the world. So seven. <laughs> so I use seven spoon of vinegar to create my noodles. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh my gosh. Don't worry, I will uh, share some vibe with you. I mean, so. Thank you. <laughs> They are not my favorite one. I mean, I like the very strong flavor like sosen and tamai. Oh. Sosen and tamai, they are so spicy and tasty. And this one is the one, I mean, the normal people will like a lot because my flavor is so strong. Uh -huh. yeah. My flavor is like stronger than the normal people. So I like the sosen and tamai. So many sitting, so and me went. I will go to eat noodle every city. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. And then in seven years, I only find two shops are on my exact flavor. Yeah. Masala Kham So Sen and Kong Gen Chamai. And this one is a great one. Just like I wish them most strong. <laughs> <laughs> All that chili and vinegar. Mm -hmm. And usually because the bowl is not big enough, yeah. I will eat, continue put the, oh, the, yeah. yep. at the space, and then I will like this, continue to film it. Yep. <laughs> and then it's like my noodle never going to end. <laughs> hey, very long chopsticks. Appreciate these. You can really grip up a lot of noodles with chopsticks like that. Okay. So I'm only getting a few bites here, so I want to maximize all the possibilities. Beef, 
bean sprouts, those sticky, beautiful Senlec white noodles. Got some veg in there. Mmm. Nice. Yep, that is Lee's flavor profile for sure. Mm. We both had a good feeling about this place. They have a ton of options too. They, I think they had common guy as well. Mm. So where do you think Kwe Tiao, does it come from Guang, Guangzhou, Guangdong language? Kwe Tiao? Maybe from the day to day too. That's awesome, and so much freshness. Even the noodles are very fresh. They're plain, but they soak up so much of that sourness. But then all the other stuff is so fresh. Mm. I just realized Lee was pointing over there. She said, what is that? This is the name of the shop. That's why the meat, the, it's beef. The beef meatballs are so good. That's actually the name of the shop. Luk Chin Nua. Luk Chin is the meatball, but they can make meatballs out of fish, any meat. Luk Chin Nua. Nua is beef. Actually, they even have a uh, long cooked or slow cooked meatball dish as well. And I don't think I've ever seen Luk Chin Nua Bui. I don't think I've ever seen that. Mm, you, you are a noodle champion. I think I'm just gonna pass my bowl of noodles to you all the time. You season it and then please send it back. Mm, mm, mm. Really, these are so good. What made you want to start doing this? He said, oh, it's just fun. I said, how did you learn to make this soup? It is just amazing, so simple. He said, no, I do everything myself. I said, I can see, I can see. And I didn't notice until we ate the beef meatballs. The name of the place is Beef Meatballs, he said. Yep, we do that ourselves as well. So. Now I think I gotta come back tomorrow and try this guy's common guy. Look at how, look at that sheen. Yeah, that is, dude. Dude, I think I gotta come back tomorrow for one of these. These guys are pros. Babe, he makes an awesome looking common guy as well. They said they make everything themselves. The soup broth, they make the meatballs, they make the dude. Wow. She finished all the mung beans now. <laughs> I like this place is like Yeah yeah. Usually some of the noodle shop you can go to take this as a buffet by yourself. Yeah. And then or usually some shop they will bring for you but just like a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Not enough for me. Today is like the first restaurant I see they bring this big place and full of yeah. full of the vegetables I like. Yeah, yeah. Because like the noodles are so soft and then you eat with the this is like the Soy bean or what yeah, you say yeah. is the mung bean. Yeah. The mung bean. Yeah. Soft and crunch and then mix the flavor and then yeah. with the basil. Wow. You had to try. When I just eat the food in Thailand, it doesn't a Thai people crazy. How long can they eat the mung bean raw? Oh, the flavor yeah, is so yeah, strong yeah. and Bitter. Yeah, yeah. Are they crazy? Why they eat them raw? But I like the mung bean, but I cannot handle their raw. So I will take my plate and then bring to the shop. Can you cook for me? Oh, sometimes. Yeah, yeah. I do that like years. Yeah, yeah. But not every restaurant will cook that for me. So I will slowly, slowly, slowly to get used to the raw mung bean and. So tasty, but it takes me a long time to get used to it. I will always ask them, "Can you cook for me?" 
90% of the shop, they will cook for me. But still have some shop mm -hmm, not cooking for me, so. <laughs> so now I am. I know how to eat the raw vegetables by training. Now I just eat the mango. Very healthy. 